Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 29 of Forgecraft, where today we're getting into this stuff, the assembly line from Pneumaticraft, right? Um, in order to get there though, we're going to need a few things. First off, we're going to need some printed circuit boards. This stuff, not terrible, all looks fine. We'll talk about plastic in a second because that's also on my to-do list. That guy needs some of these dudes. This guy needs an etching tank. Oh, that's a new thing. Didn't that used to be an in-world drop? That's cool. With etching acid and an empty PCB. And is that it? Is that it? Isn't there some kind of like lighting PCB thing? There it is, UV light box. Got it. And that's an empty PCB, which comes from a pressure chamber with plastic, gold, and redstone. So you can see that plastic is required for a lot of these things, right? Almost everything in here requires plastic to some degree, including uh, these guys require uh, emeralds from an Amadron. So we have to trade these in with Amadron, right? That also requires plastic. So does the GPS tool. Plastic is used for a lot of things in Pneumatograft, right? A lot. So to get that going, this totally used to be an in-world thing. It's cool that they made it a, uh, that's cool. Can be heated above 50C for progressively faster etching, but etching acid will be slowly used when heating thus. Oh, that's cool. So you can either, etching acid is not used up, but if you wanna speed it up, you give it heat and it will run faster. That's cool. That's cool, I like that. But anyway, plastic, where does that come from? That's a good question. Um, in order to get plastic, we can either put a bucket of plastic in the world to make a plastic sheet. Pour a bucket of molten plastic in the world, it will solidify to a plastic sheet within a second. Seems like a lot, seems like not a great conversion, right? Um, or we can do heat frame cooling, put the input material in an inventory with a heat frame attached and chill the heat frame to below C. Bonus output chance, 1% chance for an extra plastic sheet per degree below zero. Multiplier limit 1.75. That seems like the way to do it, especially because we've got some really good make things coldy cold happening over here, right? Um, so like you're doing a good job of being cold, right? Hello, super chilly. So we want a heat frame, which is an interesting looking lock, but let's see what it's about, right? Put it in an inventory with a heat frame attached. So by inventory, do you mean like chest with heat frame attached? Oh, hello. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, look at that. All right, yes, that's absolutely what it meant, okay. That is neat. So then we put a bucket of plastic in there. So let's try that out, right? Uh, so this is LPG. So let's get a bucket of you, LPG. And you combine with coal. So let's give you a little bit of... Is this a liquid? Is it a gas? I don't know. Temperature up. And once we hit the right temperature, it will convert that LPG into presumably plastic. Yeah, at a decent rate. Okay, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. That is not terrible at all. Uh, what I'm gonna do is get a tank from Pneumaticraft, right? Small fluid tank from Pneumaticraft. And you're going to collect all this plastic in this tank, which can hold 32 buckets. Cool. So basically a bucket of LPG equals 10 buckets of liquid plastic, right? And then those 10 buckets of liquid plastic um, equals 10 plastic if you do it in the world, but you have a chance to get a multiplier. Hey, good, that worked. If you put it in a super cold chest, that's, you know, 273-ish. So if I put that in there, oh, look at that go, that's cool. Neat. So 175 is the temperature you're aiming for. Because remember the multiplier max is 175. So, so anything colder than 175C doesn't make a difference, but if it's warmer than the negative 175, um, it's, it's gonna be a little bit of a problem, right? I mean, not a problem, it's just, you know, not optimal, right? 
multiplier limit 1.75 x, right? So I assume that means 175 degrees below zero is your 175 multiplier, and that's what you want, right? So we got 17 plastic sheets from 10 buckets. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Use a few speed upgrades at this point. Oh, I guess you can't have speed upgrades, can you? Guess it's all about the heats for you. Whoop, look at all that heat pressure. Look at all that pressure going up. It gets so hot. It gets so hot. Speaking of, we ran out of oil, by the way. I'm just, I'm just noting that for you, the viewers, who might not have noticed that we are out of oil. For reals. Wow, look at that temperature. 600 degrees C. That is awesome. Okay, so then you do your thing. That's neat. Do you think that you need thermal lagging or whatever it is? Yeah, now in fairness, I should probably have taken this out when we started getting low, but eh, it's a, at this point it's like, does it make that much of a difference? I don't know. New chapters unlocked, yay. That's cool, I like that mechanic. Now, I really like the way the heat frame looks. Doesn't it look super cool around the chest? I love it. And then this guy is producing, because I've got seven speed upgrades in there, a ton of pressure, right? A really, really good amount of pressure being produced over here, uh, which is great. So let's get ourselves some more oil from the world, right? Um, you, sir, need to be shift mouse wheel or something like that. Bucket mode on. And what we'll do is we'll go find some more oil to pick up from the world. I wish oil behaved a little bit better when being picked up, but hey, it's a fox. What's up, buddy? All right, let me go get some oil, find some, be right back. All right, guys, we're back. So a couple things we're going to need. An Amadron tablet, right? So let's get that ready to be made. So we're gonna want a GPS tool, which needs a redstone torch. And then we're gonna need an air canister. And then we're gonna need the Amazon tablet. Cool, and that's gonna go into a charging station, which I don't mind hooking up to my main line, mostly because he's gonna be fine, right? And then we just hit that in there and he'll start absorbing pressure. Now, uh, there are upgrades we can apply to this dude. Speed, we'll be able to charge and discharge items faster. Volume, you know what we should do? Make some more speed upgrades, that would be cool. So where are you at, buddy? You are at five buckets, holy cow, that's a lot of buckets. Look at that all. Look at all the buckets. My inventory is a mess as usual and no one's surprised. Now let's get redstone in there like it belongs and that should be better, sweet. And there's lubricant, nice. Okay. And then that would be five more speed upgrades, which I really appreciate that speed upgrades become easier and easier to get as time goes by because speed equals faster producing of things that you need for speed upgrades. It's great. All right, cool. So now with that, boom, we can probably go stick some speed upgrades into you if we wanted to. But remember, remember the charging station can only equalize pressure. So the Amadron tablet here can only ever get around four and a half bars of pressure because you can't put more pressure into the Amadron tablet than exists in the charging station. Like that's not how balanced air pressure works, right? So yeah, see now we're at a hundred, we're around 4.5 and the Amadron tablet is actually like balanced now. It's not getting any more. It's, all, it's, it's going back and forth, right? So it kind of balances in um, into things. So now, oh, hello. Oh, information. This is how we order things. Slot interaction. Right click, plus one, left click, minus one. Shift, right click, shift, left click, middle click, zero. Cool. 
Disclaimer. Amadron cannot accept responsibility for any loss or damage arising from the use of the delivery service. When a partial payment arrives at Amadron, it has the right to keep the items that would have been sold to the buyer otherwise. Sweet. So I think I need to bind this to a chest or something, don't I? Let's sleep through the night here so we can check this dude out. All right, so I think we want to bind you to a chest. Is that right? And then we can put emeralds in said chest. And then we can order an assembly drill. So we'll right click it and we'll right click this and place order. And then the Amadron drone should arrive to collect eight emeralds each. They're gonna come steal my emeralds. Whoop whoop, goodbye guys. Bye, bye, miss you, bye. They accept payment first as you can see. And then they bring me my rewards. Sweet. That is cool. <laughs> you gotta love the Amadron tablet. Like, it's hilarious, right? It's super cool. Um, it's, a, it's a neat mechanic, to be sure. To be sure. It's a neat mechanic. Um, that's neat. Is there anything else in here that we need? Uh, we probably need a PCB blueprint. Do we need that? Yes, in order to get the UV light box. Does this have any other recipe? No, so we definitely wanna order one of these. Place order. That's cool. That's cool. All right, so now we've got that for the PCB light box and that's looking pretty good. Goodbye emeralds. Come on, buddy. And then there's our PCB blueprint. Hooray, and you're done. Yay. So now we're gonna want to take this PCB blueprint, make a couple of these dudes, and now you're ready. Don't forget your sunglasses. Cool. And I think I want my assembly line to be over here-ish. Um, as a result, I probably wanna tighten this up a bit. So what I'm gonna do is give you a steady redstone signal so that you're definitely off all the time. And let's tighten up this redstone line a little bit. work underground because that would be my best case scenario it kind of doesn't but we could do something like this right All right, so what's my pressure currently sitting at? 3.8 bars. So if this turned on, it would be at four. If this turned on, it would be at 4.5, right? So that's about where I want it to be. So then we'll do, it's a little dire wire-y. I know, I acknowledge. I acknowledge the subtle amounts of dire wire. We could maybe 
Yeah, let's not have it loop so much around, right? We will do something like... Okay, so you're currently at 3.5. So this would be four and this would be 4.5, right? for me and we'll see if I did that correctly now hopefully you don't overdo it too much here buddy but I think you'll be all right so you're at 4.71 we need the better tubes is really what we need right we really need the better tubes no explodey please no explodey And if I design this right, it should be totally cool to cover most of this up. It's a big if. I appreciate. I appreciate how big that if is. But that should be a valid connector, right? So you're hitting around 4.24. All right, getting close to the pressure amount. That's safe to cover, right? But this one, not so much. And that. Okay. So you're chilling at right around 4.4. .4. Ah, cool. All right. Yes. Yeah. No, that's good. That's good right there. Nice. That's about where we want the breaking point to be. Perfect. So that just gives me a little bit more wiggle room in terms of building area, right? So I should get a few more pressure tubes they're always nice to have and now let's get working on our uh next pieces which are going to be these guys right so we need uh some of this stuff we need some printed circuit boards so um we're going to need a few printed circuit boards let's math this out one two three four five six seven eight so eight printed circuit boards i think is about where we want to be so let's get eight of these and 16 of each of these um, so the printed circuit boards, we'll start with this recipe, right? So let's get 16 redstone torches. And gold nuggets, was it three gold nuggets per? So 24, 8, 16, 24, does that sound about right? Yes. So let's try the automation that we have here. I love the doors, aren't they the coolest? The doors are definitely the best part. And this is the part where more items go in. Cool, perfect. And if I put speed upgrades on the door, it would mean that less air was lost when the door is opened. It just seems like a waste of speed upgrades at the moment. Right? And now he's going to spit the redstone torches in there. Perfect time for Archon, by the way, as I'm waiting to see if a thing works. Hello. Hello. And then you with that awesome output craft thing. Oh my, that makes more than one PCB at a time, doesn't it? It makes three. I didn't notice that because of the damage bar, but that's a lot of PCBs. So that's cool. And now we want to UV light box them, right? So what we're gonna wanna do, let's put the UV light box like here-ish. Does that sound cool? And we can connect up some pressure to you because that's what you need. And then threshold 100%. Look at that. You can specify when it's done. That's cool. Now, if I put you in here, whoa, that is a bright, that is a, wow, that is cool. I love that effect. I love that. Now, if I threw some speed upgrades into you, you should, yeah, that's what's up. The bummer is he can only accept one item at a time. But that's not terrible. That is really cool. All 
That is really neat. That is really neat. All right. So you're going to do a really nice job with seven speed upgrades in you. It seems like it slows down the higher it gets, right? But definitely having some speed upgrades in there is a good call, right? Absolutely true. That is cool. I love it. Yeah, see how quickly it got to 50% and then the last bit of threshold, right? So, I mean, if you wanted to play the... I like this too. This is an interesting mechanic. It takes longer to get to 100%. So if we pull it out right now, we have like a two and three chance of it working, right? And if it didn't work, we just have to smelt it and try again, right? But if we want to get to that 100% guaranteed will turn into the right thing, well, then that's going to be a little bit more of interesting stuff. I like that. I really like that mechanic. All right, now etching. Let's talk about etching. So now that we've got that, we need an etching tank. Well, that's a lot of things we don't have. Okay, we're going to need you guys. And we're apparently going to need some reinforced walls. And that will get us an etching tank. All right, look at you. Do you need do you need temperature or pressure? I don't see a pressure gauge on you, so you may not need pressure. Now you will accept heat if we want you to, right? But and then we need etching acid, which it used to be a recipe in the in the thing. You can get a bucket of it, right? Uh, and here, yes, two eyes, two flesh, and two gunpowder, right? So I. Flesh to gunpowder and a bucket of molten plastic. Boop, 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 boop. No, not you. So plastic is the coal one, right? With LPG. Good times. Is it not? Is it not plastic? Am I wrong about this? Molten plastic? Coal with LPG. Isn't that what I got? Yeah. And you're not hot enough, that's why. There you go. Cool. So then we'll grab a bucket of you, and that'll get us etching acid. And my understanding is I can apply heat to this, mul to this block, and what it'll do is... Um, so that should work, right? No valid items in chamber. I thought I took my redstone out of there. Maybe it snagged some by mistake. It's all right. When it gets the gunpowder in there, it should be cool. There you go. Etching acid bucket, nice. So now if I export all, he should grab that redstone that I put in there by mistake. There it is. And then back to crafted only, which I love that change, by the way. Love, love, love that change. Don't spill it on your shirt. Yes, sir. All right, so then we put this in here. And he's etching, nice. Now this one I think can accept multiples at once, right? Yes, etching process. That is cool. That is super cool. I'm going to get a few more speed upgrades if uh, y'all don't mind. That seems like a good use of time, right? Redstone instead of coal. We'll get the bucket out, or the plastic out in the tank. Did I have another tank? Did I use a tank? I might have used up a tank. Did I leave it in here? Yes, I left it in here, that's why. All right, you make me more plastic now. Cool, 
And then here comes some lubricant for us. Sweet. Speed upgrades. At this point, with the number of speed upgrades I'm making, I am almost regretting not going the route of... Uh, whatchamacallit. That biodiesel stuff, so I could double the speed upgrades that are crafted. I think next time I do this, I should probably do that. Yeah? What do you guys think? I think that that's an accurate statement. So now what if I made you 12? Oh, 10's the max. All right, that's good enough. I'll take 10. So how do you do? Oh, yeah. You use a lot of pressure to do that. That's fine, though. That's fine. should automate this. Um, mechanical pipes? Does that sound fun? Oh, maybe not. Can you not automate these? Oh, that's a mechanical pipe. That's why. Logistical transporter is what I want. Yes. Okay. And then we can do chest and chest. And then you can extract and extract. And that seems like a good time. And then you... Where are you? There you are. Sweet. And that's automated now, right? Automation is always the answer. Very, very, very cool. I love it, right? That is spiffy. And then we'll have four empty PCBs sitting here, which can easily get dropped in like that, and then they all start etching. And like I said, it doesn't use up the etching acid unless you heat it, and if you do heat it, then it'll use the etching acid, but etch faster. So it's up to you if you want to automate etching acid or just be patient, which I like. I love those kinds of options that you're given as a player. All right, guys, we're back. So we're going to want 32 plastics. We're going to want a lot of gold nuggets. I didn't math out how many gold nuggets I need, but we need 3 times 32. No, 3 times yes. Because we want eight of these, so we need 32 total of this. And this is two, and this is three. Oh, so it's not, okay, you're making the math hard on me. So 48 plus 32, right? 48 plus 32, so that's 80. 80 gold nuggets. I just insist on doing things like that in my head if I can avoid it. Yeah. See? 48 and 32. Cool. And then finally, um, we're going to need 16 redstone and 16 slime balls. Oof, we are close. We are close to the number of slime balls we need. Luckily, though, I know somebody who might have a few. Whee! Eh, he's got a few, believe it or not. It's not as many as I thought he might. But I'm thinking he's got slime seeds? Wow, he didn't get slime seeds? Soren, please. What am I going to do with you? Mr. No has slime seeds. That's not cool. So we're at eight capacitors now. I didn't math the capacitor count wrong, did I? Did I math the gold nuggets wrong? Did I math the gold nuggets wrong? I could have sworn I did them correctly. Could have sworn. But anyway, our problem is the blue ones, which needs 16 more gold nuggets. Okay. That should be cool now. 
Oh right, you're probably still set to all. Yeah, don't don't export all. Anymore. Give me those gold nuggets. Okay, so that's going to be the components I need for the thing. Wow, we are really low on pressure, but we should build it up pretty quickly again because, again, these guys have some significant speed upgrades in them. Uh, and soon we'll upgrade our pressure tubes to be better pressure tubes, which will mean they can transfer pressure a lot faster and better. So, yeah, you're done, and you're not hooked up to pressure, but you guys are also almost done. So, yeah, lots of unassembled PCBs to have already. Sweet. And then you guys should go pop, pop, pop. And that's cool. Perfect. Capacitor. Nice. All right. Let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time. We will make the assembly line and have some more fun playing with Pneumaticraft. Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. For now, take it easy. Boop, boop, boop.